Hello and welcome to this video playing Nota Bose, not a Bose. Says big fan, thank you. You don't see the chat here. Um, okay. So let's play. Play the Slav. 92 is a um, uh, set line that is um, actually quite interesting. All right, so do I get this back or I have to <laughs> move the knight back at some point, but um, don't want to do it straight away. It's a bit weird. He's he's got this bishop on on d7, which is not very very common this displacement. I wonder maybe this, yeah, bishop b2, so that if he takes, I can take with the b pawn. Mm, and one idea that I had in mind was f4 at some point, but come on, let's get get this back. I'm always getting nervous. Yeah, <laughs> if they have those unprotected pieces on the on the side of the board. E5 is just a far more agreeable square for the knight. Now I have a fairly standard attacking procedure with f4, queen f3, queen h3. Oh, he's going back. Uh, maybe I can make c5 a little bit more difficult. Hmm. Okay, and this is it's just it's a bit too and he's, he's playing this uh, very passively and I, I want to try to punish this. Yeah, isn't this a big issue now? How do you cover it? I got this. Okay, bishop f8 then. Grabbing huge chunks of material already. No, that's just winning, winning the house. So, um, do I take on f7? Yeah, I think I do. I still am I still am on g6, so bishop g6 is also also coming. Um yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Here I don't really see a move now. Threatening knight h6 and it's no playable move for black simply. Queen f6. Yeah. Hangs on for the moment. Something like this should be fine. It's really tough to make a move here. I cannot move I cannot move any piece there. Okay. Well, there was there was nothing really that you can do. Um, the the opening result for black was was too a bit too bad really. Um, yeah. After knight h4, black has a couple of choices. Bishop e4 is probably the most um, ambitious move. It's uh, it's important to know that this is not that great. There's a problem here with this line when white is threatening to almost mate on c8, <laughs> winning the rook then, and threatening knight g6. This is uh, already pretty bad. So this is the best reply. Bishop d7, um, yeah, if you, if you want to go away and play e6, you rather, you can better go to c8 if you want. 
Okay, so e6, bishop d3, yeah, knight a6, yeah, this is, it's not really doing much here. Yeah. This is just not a very harmonious piece placement. And now I decided to get it, get it back to the center and it, uh, this is just a super nice setup. White has everything nicely coordinated and I have good attacking ideas. This is something the rook can go or what I did with, with knight f3. That was a little bit, I was, it was, I was speculating that he's not um, covering knight g5 because it was very obvious somehow that next move was bishop g7. So that was a bit, um, a bit hope chess on my part, but it's not, it's not a bad move. We get it closer to the king side. And after this, yeah, everything is falling apart. This is also not helping. Yeah, and here I'm just, I'm just winning, winning the house. Uh, this is an interesting, interesting line. It's not, uh, not very well known, but um, quite, quite a playable option for white. Okay, guys, thanks for watching.